Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Rowan's Art Studio. Today is Sketchbook Club, so I want everyone to grab your sketchbooks, and we are going to be doing the Complete the Drawing Challenge. So you are going to need something to complete the drawing around, and I recommend grabbing yourself some stickers. So this is going to be super fun. Come join me at my art desk. All right, so let's everyone grab our sketchbooks and open them up to the first blank page you have. I grabbed some stickers from the dollar store, and I think I'm going to start with this crystal sticker right here. There we go. Let's add a few more crystal stickers. And now let's switch sheets and hmm, which one should I use? I like that one right there, coffee mug. Let's give it a little spoon, friend. All right, so those are the stickers that I have chosen to work with. And now the second part is to complete the drawing around your stickers. So this drawing can be whatever you like. So. I think that I'm going to start by giving my little coffee mug a little plate to sit on or a saucer. And maybe now over here, I'm going to sketch a napkin that's kind of folded up into a sort of triangle there because I'm feeling fancy. Now up here at the top, I am going to add a table that it's all sitting on. And I'm making the sides of the table slanted or diagonal lines to make it look like the table is coming towards me. That's called perspective. And now on top of the table, I am going to draw a square, and that is going to be a window. And on the left side of the window, I think I'm going to draw maybe a hanging plant, kind of like the ones that I have hanging up in my office. You don't have to draw these exactly the way I'm drawing. Uh, your drawings are going to depend on the type of stickers you have, and on your own creativity and your imagination. So if you pick a sticker of a dinosaur, I want to see what sorts of environments you draw for your dinosaur. Maybe you pick a bird, or a unicorn, or some trees. And all of your drawings are going to look different because you're all going to start from different stickers. All right, so here's my sketch. And I think I'm going to add a couple more details. I'm going to draw maybe a little mason jar because a lot of the times I will paint on this table and I will have mason jars full of paint water. So maybe I'm gonna stick a paintbrush in this mason jar to show that I've been painting here recently. I'm gonna add some details on that brush, and add a little circle for the water line. Ooh, and down here, I'm going to draw a big circle for a plate because I have coffee. So maybe this is a picture of my breakfast. So maybe I'll draw a piece of bread right here on that plate because I like to eat toast for breakfast sometimes. At least that's what I had for breakfast today. I had toast. Actually, I had avocado toast today, so let's add a little smeary shape for the avocado. Hmm. Maybe I will add another circle inside the plate, again, to make it look a little more 3D. And over here, I am going to draw the shape of a book to represent my sketchbook because I've always got my sketchbook with me because that's one of the rules I wrote in my sketchbook is to take it with me everywhere. So I'm going to add some pages down here again to make it look a little more three-dimensional. And there we go. My sketch is done. So now that I've completed my sketch, let's add a little bit of color. I'm going to be using colored pencils, but you guys can use whatever materials you have. Maybe you're going to use crayons, maybe you're going to use markers. Use whatever you want to draw with. This is about making yourself happy and making artwork that you love and that you're going to be proud of. So I'm going to fast forward a bit here, so my coloring is going to speed up a bit. 
but I want you guys to remember that even if you don't have stickers to work from, you can maybe have someone else make a drawing for you that you complete the drawing around. Or maybe draw a squiggle in your sketchbook and turn that into a drawing. Use your creativity in order to complete this challenge. And if you're having trouble figuring out what to draw, look around you. Take inspiration from what you see. My inspiration for this drawing is what I can see from my desk. So maybe you want to draw a scene from your bedroom, or a scene from your front yard, or maybe even just a scene straight out of your imagination. I can't wait to see all of the complete the drawing challenges you guys make in your sketchbooks. If you're proud of your work, then take a picture and post it to social media so that I can see it and give you a shout out in next week's video. Stay safe everyone, and remember, keep making art. I will if you will.